Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4. In the last episode, uh, we took down Erida uh, on top of the uh, the Wailing Hills, a place called Solitude. I was thinking uh, we, we definitely want to push on with the plot, so that that's going to happen. Um, but we've got this little little nook over here uh, that I kind of want to go up and investigate and see what that's about. We need about 400 more renown in Skosglen in order to get another skill point. So if that is a stronghold, that's 100 right there. And it's it's not far for us to go and, and have a little, little nose, a little look. Eventually we're going to explore all of Skosglen, so it's... Uh, it's not a, a big deal regardless, but... What is this area? Okay, let, let's go around the edge. Maybe it's like a gathering legion point? What does the stone of whatever that was do? Are there other stones? <coughs> Not seeing anything obvious there. No, we've been we've been all the way around. Let's uh, let's head through the centre again in case that stone did something in the middle. Does not look like it. Well, that is a proper mystery to me then. Little altar of Lilith. That is good for us. Ah, sailor skeletons, or undead, I should say, because they might have bits of uh, uh, bits of uh, muscle and sinew and stuff still on them. Okay, what is this event? Okay, it's another one of the Devourer. Those wretches die quite quickly, but... I must wait a moment. The worry, of course, with them is that they end up sneaking through. Just got it in time. Right, you are in my bad look. Let's let it come a bit closer. He 
Give me those obols. And the experience and the goal and, and all the other things. Yeah, I'm definitely feeling our attack speed is slower because we uh, swapped out our item. Uh, so one thing I was thinking is our chest piece is great if we were doing hurricane. But we're not doing hurricane. So what we might do is we might extract this and put it on a new chest when the opportunity presents itself. Like we were planning on doing with our helmet with the barrier. Uh, just before we found an aspect of the potato. I mean, that was hilarious. What's that? Overcharged aspect. Okay, we've already found one of those. Uh, let's let's cut south east through this because we don't need to be going that way. While it's nice exploring places, we're supposed to be checking in with the knights. Let's try and get a nice group together. Chest. Nothing particularly awesome. Let's head out the south side, get a new area uncovered. I see you, big guy. got them all gone. There we go. What dungeon's that? Aspects of the Dire Whirlwind. That's good for barbarians. Not really something we're interested in. So let's let's navigate through this little winding passage bit. Hey, more Fallen. Haven't seen Fallen in a while. Which way are we going to go? We're going to head round to the right. Along this little watery path. Okay, can't go any further that way. Ooh, yeah, this area is quite large, isn't it? Cliff Lurker. Does this guy? I suppose this does count as a cliff, doesn't it? Just about. Poor guy. Just got absolutely trounced by an angry bear. I'm not ready yet. No little altar hiding over there. It doesn't look like it. Checking left and right as we uh, come up, just in case there's anything tucked away. Although well, this is going to be a large open area. Ooh, what's that? Protection shrine? Sure.
always happy to get more protection. And down into the town. Saw that. Overgrown vermin's broke another trap. Yeah, that's got to be frustrating. If you're hunting and things get bigger so your traps don't work or get damaged. I can imagine that's not cool. Hey, Razier. There's a horned woman in the moors spreading corruption, if that's what you mean. Yes. She's after the druids who vanquished Ashtaroth. Ah, that madman the Fane lives out there. We already tried checking on him. Got as far as Boglinstone Circle, and then the Druid's wolf companion appeared and bit one of my men. <laughs> I'm already <coughs> short on knights. Not going to risk what I have left on some bastard who hates the cathedral. All right, I guess we're going to go take down another Druid. He's not far away, so we can pop up and uh, and have a look at him. But we do have some side quests we can pick up while we're here. Uh, you've got a worried face. The fly swarms plaguing us. We've done all we could. Burning corpses, covering open water, rubbing ourselves with gallowine. Barely done any good. Have you tried turning into a bear? Folk have had heavier worries on their minds. But the flies bit our last milk and cow to death. The problem ain't going away by ignoring it. I have some coins saved, if he can help with the infestation. Well, I'm always happy to take extra coin. So I guess that's just kill swarming flies nearby. Let's uh, grab the one to the south and then we'll grab the one to the north as well. Not while I'm in town. Not something, but someone. Someone like you, in fact. Oh, really? You look the worldly shot. Would you be able to travel to the under the fat goose inn in the Highland Wilds and let Torben the innkeeper know Niall will be there shortly to settle his tab? I likes me a drink, see, and that place has the best ale in these parts. Uh, sure. I can go and tell the place that you're going to go to that you're going to be there soon to pay them what you want. Doesn't seem like the smartest side quest, but you know, make people like us more. Uh, so, uh, yeah, your trap. You haven't caught anything? Nay, traveller. The traps have yielded naught and won't for some time. This land needs time to recover. Thorn beasts are still in abundance, though. Haven't shown signs of corruption, but a tough meat that, and too smart for normal traps. I hope these new snares will yield better results. All right, so we have a couple of things nearby. Collect the thorn beast meat. Mmm, delicious. Um, exterminate stinging swarms. That's relatively easy. And there is the pub that we need to go to, which is not exactly on our route. So uh, I think for now, what we'll do is we'll head towards feral nature. Kill some stinging swarms on the way. I mean, the stinging swarms are easy to kill, so it's never going to be a, a problem. It's just laborious. Hop on up, see what this druid has to say for himself. A warning is scrawled across the surface. Stone is carved with a message welcoming travellers to the forest where they can become one with nature. But someone has written over it in dried blood, Cathedral dogs not welcome. Easy, my friend. 
I'm not one of the knights. I'm looking for your master, Nefane. Think you could help me with that? Good boy. Lead the way. So where is this druid? Okay, I guess we've got to keep really close to the wolf. The blood veil. This does not look like a good place to be. Lycan Firewalkers. Ooh, those are cool. Diseased bear, that's not cool. Don't worry, bear. I'm not ready. I'll put you out of your misery. This whole veil is not very well. We are going to read that properly in just a moment. Right. Naris is a pest is written in blood across the torn banner. We're getting plenty of Howlin' Moss. Is that another banner? Yes. But we'll get the area safe before we have a look at it. The helms are all dented from violent blows and spotted with dried blood. Big pulverize. Another diseased bear taken care of. Trespasser! Claw marks riddle the decaying body. A single word is scrawled across the chest. And this is the heart of the Moors up here. Before we go, like, into the area, let's have a look at this. Ooh, wow. Yeah, I understand why it's called the Blood Veil. Let's check the sides first. Dude! Dude, what are you doing? Something's gone you horribly wrong. Are a forest walker. Oh, yet you stink of that coward, Donan. He feared Lilith might seek you out. He was right. Oh, yes. She put me here. He's still bleeding. I'm beyond saving. All you can do for me is find the demon. I will help you. Go to the north. She is there planning something. Oh, man. There is still time to stop her. Fearburn will accompany you. Is that your wolf? Hurry!
Follow the line of corruption into the untamed thicket. Yeah, fear about the wolf. Good doggo. Okay, let's have a look at the map. Yeah, it wants us to head up around. We'll uh, we'll check into each of like the little side bits as we go. Because there could be anything like other altars and. Uh... other dungeons to find on the way. Okay, can't actually navigate through that. Yeah, we've already seen that one as well. This looks like it actually leads out into the dark heaths. So we'll head up just a little bit to get it on our map. And then we'll head back down in. I must go to Ooh, actually there's little ore vein here. This, this place is gonna be really good to hide altars. Like it's going to be a lot harder to spot them just because everything is so pink and bloody. Barrier of blood. There must be a way to bring it down. I reckon so. So we've got one of those bits. There's going to be others. I think we just follow this path. It looks like there's another one already marked on there, but let's go for this one that's far away. We'll just charge through those guys as they're following us. Okay, heading across for the other growth. Not ready yet. This uh, companion dog, uh, Fioban. I mean, I'm glad to have him, but he's not doing much damage. He's he's not a very strong fighter. Okay, that should open things up. On the plus side, this is helping to uh, sort out our B problem. Okay, let's uh, let's just push on in. Into the untamed thicket. Ooh. In the crimson path, find what lies at the end of the corruption. I can tell it's not going to be good. Under old boughs hangs the heart fruit, swollen with hatred. Let it burst forth and flood the streams and burrows. All right. That's not at all ominous. How are we doing for space? We've got loads of space. I don't think these fly swarms are going to be counting. 
In this crimson cradle, let there be born an amalgam of rage! So, more than, more than just hatred, she's going for rage. Trying to build up my uh, my terror notes a little. We're up to 35, which is good. So if we get in a big fight, we're going to be able to potentially do something about it. Let its anger ever burn, until it has devoured the whole of this wretched land. Stuck under. Got a big fight. We've got to find a way to stop this. Oh my god. That's a big thing. You know what, let's uh... Let's hit it with everything we've got. Oh, Barry is gonna do a lot to keep us intact. I'm not ready. Are we actually, like, hurting this at all? Come to me, spawn of hatred. We have tender meat to hunt. Must wait a moment. It does feel like we are doing damage to it now. Oh no! Not cool. Okay, well, we're going to have to head back to Nefane, um, but I need to take a break for a moment, so we'll pick this up in just a moment. All right, all sorted. Let's uh, let's return to Nefane. So, can we just... We can't just leave Dungeon. So we'll have to run out the old-fashioned way. See what Nafain says about all of this. We are a fraction away from level 38 now. So possibly handing this in is, is going to be enough to get us there. Right, 
It wasn't up that one, it was up the next one. Well, not, not this one, but the next, next one. I mean, he must be dead by now. There's no way he's been able to hang on that long. Oh, just. Did you stop her? No, she was already gone. And I fear she has taken a piece of you with her. A beast born from your oh. blood. Too right it is, Nafain. What part did you have in this? Uh, oh, Nafain! In return for what? I told her. Where Astaroth is hidden. So between the two of them, she knows about the wars, oh, she knows where he's hidden. In her presence, I lost control. <clears throat> Rage consumed me. Oh, there's only one thing to do now end the corruption. I, I would do this with my own axe. But I suppose we get to leave it here, so. I'm sorry, Doggo. It was the right thing to do. And we're gonna put that into Vigilance. So, increasing our survivability even more. Uh, it wants us to head, oh wow, all the way back to Elden Keep. Uh, I guess to uh, report on, uh, on what's been going on. We'll head back to TMR first. Because we've done enough of the... Uh, stinging swarms that we can hand that in uh, and I think we'll we'll finish off here and uh, we'll pick up the story next time here you go bless ye and all your descendants perhaps there's hope after all maybe we'll try planting the fields again give it a go who knows what you'll find hey we were supposed to get money and you've given me ah, an elixir of undead sake. You know what? I'm not going to complain about it. Uh, so, uh, as I said, we're going to finish off there. Thank you very much for coming along, everyone. Uh, we're 110 uh, renown out of the 400 we need for this. Uh, so there's still plenty more to do in Scotland as we push on with the story. As always, if you have enjoyed this, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.